Welcome to the seventh episode of One Year. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I want to remind people again that this is the personal journal for my growth for um, the year of 2023. I will be talking about different aspects that uh, are changing my life and making me grow as a person. And I hope you guys stick around, maybe take some pointers, take some advice from what I'm doing and apply them to your own lives to kind of forge yourself in the future. Um, but without further ado, the point that I want to discuss this week is taking a proper break. Um, and so obviously that kind of sounds contradicting to what my purpose with one year is. But obviously you're not going to go 100 miles per hour. But a year straight, you're going to take some time off. And this was my first real kind of break that I took um, since the start of 2023. So uh, almost two months of straight work and hard work and, and uh, no cheat days, basically. Um, and it was, it was a great week. Uh, but I will get into more specifics about why I made sure that it was a great week. And it wasn't wasn't me splurging and just kind of losing everything. Um, I took a proper, good, restful break. So I'm coming back stronger starting next week. Um, and I will be starting next week strong by starting something I'm going to call Project 60. It's kind of an in-between between between Project 50 and 75 hard. Kind of what I want to do myself. Um, there's a few things that I want to nailed down and get really going and that is actually i'm going to pull it up because i have it on my ipad right here um apologize i should be more prepared but um basically i'm going to be focusing on posting a video every single day so a tiktok or a youtube short every single day I will be working out every day, keeping a consistent diet, and lastly, mastering a new skill. Um, so over these 60 days, and the reason why it's 60 days is starting tomorrow, I will have 60 days until, my end, until the end of my semester. So I'm going to go hard for those entire 60 days, even through finals. I'm going to make sure that I get a YouTube short slash TikTok out every single day. And working every single day to master a new skill and um, obviously keep uh, fitness up to the best of my ability. Um, so that also will imply that I'm going to be trying to get just basically more content out. So more YouTube videos um, besides just the podcast, which I'm getting out regularly right now. Um, I know I was a little late on the last one. I apologize about that. It was because of this break. It is coming out soon, if not already out. Um, so I do apologize about that, but I'm excited for project 60 because I really want to produce content and I've just been kind of nervous, slash anxious, anxious about it because I'm trying a different style of content out with what I am doing with one year. Um, and I'm not great at it. Honestly, I'm not very good at it, but I know if I just work at it every single day, there's no other way to get better at it than just doing that. So I'm excited about it. And it is kind of why I wanted to take this break, especially since my girlfriend also came. It was a great time for me to kind of rejuvenate and get ready for Project 60, which will be hopefully really awesome. Um, and after Project 60, I'll take a little bit less time producing content. But 60 days, TikTok, YouTube shot every single day. I'm not going to go all the way to a YouTube video every day because... I am obviously the one shooting it and recording it and um, and editing it. So I can't really do that every single day, but I can do that to a 30 second video. Um, but I will be making sure I get a regular YouTube video besides just a uh, podcast out every single week. And um, I guess I could kind of give what I'm planning to do with... Um, with dates actually. So I want to get out uh, Sunday, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time. I want to get out just a regular vlog or sit down kind of video, just like a non-podcast uh, YouTube video. And then obviously uh, I have the podcast, which I'm gonna start regularly uploading at Wednesday, 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. Um, and then for TikToks and YouTube shorts, 
Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday will be on my kind of more Conovus account that I just started, which will be this kind of style of content focusing on one year and vlog and real life and lifestyle kind of videos. And then Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday will be on the main account, which is Valorant and uh, kind of funny gaming clips. So I'm excited about it. I planned it out. I have a great sheet here that I also uh, is going to be really helpful for me to kind of use. I've brainstormed all this to get going with it. And um, I'm also going to start releasing some products for people that are listening and people that are hearing. Um, I don't want to make shit expensive. I'm probably, if anything, going to charge free to f like five dollars if it's something i put a little bit more effort in um but yeah uh, i also want to start a newsletter which would be awesome because i really think that like a podcast is nice but maybe like you know just like people want to hear and listen to like just some advice every now and then that just isn't through a youtube short or something they just need an email they just need like hey you're doing fucking awesome keep going kind of thing um so yeah so I'm going to try and get a newsletter going, going to get some few, a few products out for people. Um, I'm also going to be posting YouTube videos every single week, Sunday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, podcast, 9 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday are um, TikTok, YouTube shorts about one year and content and just lifestyle videos, and Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday are gaming that's kind of it that's what i'm doing and that's what project project 50 is going to be it's all about content and then keeping up what i've done in the past i'm going ham i'm going really ham like i've been going hard for the past two months but i'm going really fucking hard these next two months like going crazy with it i'm so excited for it i haven't produced enough content um i've been doing well on my studies so i can kind of push more into it because i understand what i'm doing now but i'm not going to take a break from it i'm not going to take away from what i'm doing but yeah i'm really excited for it if you can't tell i'm really really hyped about it but um this week my girlfriend visited me and as you guys saw in the last podcast we had a nice little sit down chat about our relationship and everything that i'm doing and it was a really nice time i think I, we both kind of benefited for talk, from, from talking about it um but as a result of her coming and visiting me for the week, I decided to take that week off. Um, I'm going to say off because it's not really an off period. Um, it was kind of just a step back. It wasn't um, really taking the entire week off. It was just doing the minimum that I needed to stay on track. Um, because typically I go like 100%. This time I was going like 50 45 maybe 30 round about like that region but it wasn't zero just fully cutting out and just like eating junk food sleeping for 12 hours sleeping in until 1 p.m staying up until like 4 a.m no it was still going to bed regularly made like sleeping in until like 8 9 sometimes 10 like today it was our last morning so we kind of slept in a little bit longer um but yeah uh, some days i didn't work out which is not normal for me i typically work out every single day um and i had two days where i broke my diet i actually um not full days but pretty pretty much um two meals that i broke the the typical diet that i've been going on um but actually i have some suggestions and kind of um ideas of what i consumed that for me were cheap meals and cheap foods but they still were for me the bare minimum that i should be at it wasn't like consuming junk food because um there's a concern if you go off the rails like that and start just consuming junk food like five guys mcdonald's whatever the fast food chains um that just everything slips i honestly felt a little bit of a slip today um I was just like, you know what? I don't know how much I can keep this going. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's calm down here. Like, in the, in the sense of eating, really? Like, do I really need to keep this diet? Like, we went to Costco um, yesterday and I spent a shit ton of money on just literally just meat. Just 
salmon. Like I got $50 worth of salmon, got $50 worth of chicken, $50 worth of steak, like so much meat. Basically everything I got was protein. And I went with my girlfriend and one of my friends and they were just making fun of me basically for how much protein I was getting. And basically nothing that was of interest to them. Um, I actually needed to kind of provide them with something that made it worth their while for coming on coming on the trip to Costco with me. I got them some corn dogs and like uh, some other sweet treats. But um, the point being that there was a concern that if I slept, slipped and just started consuming junk food that I wouldn't really get back to that. And I explained that to Tracy that I didn't really want to consume junk food this week because um, junk food is a whole different whole different world and a whole different field to um to just less healthy foods because you can have a cheat meal and have a cheat day where it's less healthy foods but if you're eating unhealthy foods that's not a cheat day that's kind of just like i would say it's a binge day there's a difference between a cheat day and a binge day a binge day is just letting everything slip, sleeping until 1 p.m., going to bed at 4 a.m., and eating entirely junk food. That's not a cheat. Like, a cheat is supposed to feel rewarding. You won't feel gross after. You won't feel like a piece of shit. You'll feel like, yeah, that was worth it. That that bite there, that, you know, the two months I waited for this, it was worth it. Not just like, oh, what the fuck did I just eat? Like, this is made in a factory. This was grilled by like 17 year olds you know what the like it, it's not the same as eating good solid quality unhealthy foods um so like i have a list here some ideas of what i ate that were cheap foods for me maybe not cheap foods for most people um because there's still some resemblance of healthiness to it but as long as you're keeping track and keeping an idea of where you want to go with your foods and um, not indulging too much, it is healthy for you. Taking that break was really healthy for me this week. I was able to catch up on some sleep, enjoy my time with my girlfriend, make her have a good vacation. And, you know, it was an all around worth it week for me rather than, you know, like, oh, we just watched TV for 12 hours and just ate junk food. Like, that's just, that makes me want to puke. Like, I did that when she came last time, when she would visit most times. It was just like, what the fuck am I doing? That's not worth it for her or for me. So there's no point. Um, but some foods I have here are dark chocolate covered strawberries. I had that last night with my friend um, and his girlfriend and Tracy. And we were just kind of, we were actually playing board games last night. It was so much fun. Um, but we had that as like kind of a like a snack on the side and it was so good it was so awesome it was exactly what i wanted like i wanted some chocolate but i didn't want milk chocolate because milk chocolate to, to me is very sweet and i wanted like dark, dark chocolate uh covered strawberries were perfect they were in a, they were really really nice and um for me that was kind of where i indulged in the sweet part um the other thing that we had last night was we had chinese hot pot um and me and my friend ate a shit ton of meat like a shit ton of meat and although it's not necessarily healthy um because the you're you're cooking it in a very oily based a very fatty base um and so it can be very calorific but also very fatty um, but it's not that bad because I mostly ate protein. I had a, a few veggies, some noodles. Like it wasn't wasn't like eating a fast food like ramen. Basically, it was. I was preparing it. It was real meat. I saw the meat. It was nicely cut, and it was proper good food. Um, the other thing that we had for breakfast was we had pancakes, and I don't think my girlfriend knows this, but when I was making the pancakes, um, I put a scoop of protein in. Like a half scoop, not too much, but 
enough that it was some extra protein in it. And it didn't change the taste or the texture of the pancakes because I use pre pre-made pancake mix. And um, that for me is a cheat because it's not protein pancakes, it's pancakes with protein. Um, and it doesn't change anything. It still tastes super fluffy and it still tastes very uh, rich in flavor. So for me, that was a cheat food because um, you're having pancakes, but you're having it with a little bit of extra protein, like not too much, like maybe 10 grams, almost like a protein bar, but still in the very um, calorific protein in, in the, sorry, in the very calorific pancake mix that you have. Um, what else did I have? I, I had a really nice burger, like a really, really nice burger at a nice restaurant, not a fast food burger. I want to clarify that there is a massive difference, a massive difference between a well-prepared burger from a proper restaurant, from a proper nice restaurant is so much different and so many ways than having it from McDonald's or for me as a Canadian, um, a and W or what else? Um, five guys, like I said, it's so different to those fast food restaurants because it's good quality meat. They are good veg, good actual, um, what else? Bun. Everything in the burger is high quality because they want to give you something that is of high quality. Whereas you don't know where the bun and the burger and anything that's in a mcdonald's or in from any fast food restaurant where the ingredients come from but we all know it's a little sketchy we all know it's a little like uh i'm gonna just eat it and pretend i don't know what the fuck's going on because you don't <laughs> you have no idea where those ingredients are coming from but if i went to that restaurant i don't know the ingredients but if i went to the restaurant's chef and said hey where did you get these things they'd be happy to tell me Whereas I'm not going to go to McDonald's and say, hey, where the fuck do you get these guys? And be like, uh, we don't even know. Like, it just comes in like every Friday. But good quality meat, good quality. Um, I can't think of the right word, but like veg that's in the, in the burger. Um, so it, yes, it was unhealthy, but it wasn't binging and indulging in junk food. Um, and lastly, the other things that I had were dumplings and pork buns. I was actually really surprised, like pork, um, barbecue pork buns or bao buns are actually not that calorific because actually I can't explain why, but I looked on the packaging and they were only like 160 to 250 calories. And I was like, wait, per bun, this is pretty good considering how filling they are. Um, and also dumplings, because there's still protein and there's still good, good foods. Like good, there's uh, shrimp, you can get pork, um, and they're not super fatty. The um, I wanted to say skins, but I don't know what the right word is for the actual the wrappers. Um, the wrappers of the of the dumplings are not super fatty and not super calorific, so they're actually not too bad to to have. So. Those are just some suggestions of some meals that I had and some foods that I had that for me weren't too bad. And I didn't notice anything about my physique change over the week. Obviously, it's only one week, but um, I felt bloated on some days, but like I didn't feel like a piece of shit, basically. I enjoyed what I ate and I'm happy I ate it, but I'm not going to eat it anymore because I know that it's not healthy because. I want, I have goals with my physique and where I want to get my phys fitness, so I can't consume those foods. But I was glad I ate them. Um, but they're not going to affect me and affect my mental state as much as eating junk food would. Um, yeah, that that's really all I wanted to get over because it's only really the main point of the podcast today um, was just that I didn't overindulge focus on not overindulging if you're going to take a break eat some stuff that actually feels rewarding to you something you've been excited about eating like a burger maybe some people want a burger but eat a high quality burger that's actually worth it for you you eat it and you don't feel like a piece of shit 
Eat foods that don't make you feel like a piece of shit if you're taking a break. That's it. 